Hey, 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 this is Pierre Uzako talking. Do you know that you can create a storyline from Outlook? But you need to be in the new Outlook. So I'm using the new Outlook, as you can see. And in the new email icon here, I have storyline post. And then I just have to follow exactly. And eventually, if I, I type that before and it stays there, so I can close this. And just let me let make a screen capture of that. And I'll do again story post, and my text is still there. And I can now paste the image. Hopefully, it will show. If I'm not sure, yeah, it shows. And then I I do my post. Maybe I should add a question mark here. Very simple. I can click on the on here to see the the, the post in my storyline. So it opens the browser, and I shall see my post. Hopeful. In the meantime, I'm gonna go in Teams, and we've engaged because I can see it here. So in the storylines, I click on my storyline and I shall see my new storyline. Here it is. Hopefully the image is gonna come. It seems that my internet is slow this morning. Let's give it a second. So for whatever reason, it's not there yet. But if I go to the browser now, it opens the, the post. So there might be some issue with the images. I saw that there were some issues this morning with Teams images. I don't know why, but this is working well. So again, you need to use a new Outlook and write from Outlook. If you're not you know, in Teams, you can share a storyline directly, just like you were sending an email. So Dive into Storyline, Viva Engage. This is a huge tool to share and create some engagement around your community. Hope this was helpful.